An EMG is a complex test that is made up of two parts that are integrated together. The first part, which is EMG, which stands for electromyogram, and the second part is a nerve conduction study. The EMG, or electromyogram, is where the physician will be looking at the electrical impulses of muscle tissue. To do this, I'll be placing a fine, small needle into the muscle. It's about the size of an acupuncture needle. The information that I'll be gathering is actually comes in two forms. I'll be looking at the computer and also be listening to the computer. We turn this electrical information into sound, and that is very useful to a physician. I will unfortunately be looking at a number of different muscles, and uh, all that information will be uh, collected together. The second portion of the test is called the nerve conduction study. And in this part of the test, I will be hooking you up to the computer and with different types of electrodes. They'll be placed either over a particular nerve or over a muscle. Then, once you're connected to the computer, I will be stimulating the nerve, which in essence jump starts the nerve, and the computer then records the response times it, how fast is it, how strong of a response. All of this information is compiled together and I'll create a report and it'll be sent back to your physician. There are many reasons why your physician may order an EMG. The most common reason is to look for a nerve injury. If you report to your physician symptoms such as numbness, tingling, burning type pain, or if you had, say, your hands falling asleep or your feet falling asleep, your physician would be concerned that maybe you have some nerve problems and he would therefore order this test. Common diagnoses would include carpal tunnel syndrome, radiculopathy, peripheral neuropathy, and cubital tunnel syndrome. Um, for example, carpal tunnel syndrome is a condition where the nerve that goes through the wrist, the median nerve, gets pinched at the wrist and this causes both pain, numbness, and tingling in half of the hand. This test also can be used for other less common diseases. There are particular muscle disorders um, that would cause the patient either muscle pain or weakness um, and some rare neurological disorders. Uh, you may have heard of ALS or Lou Gehrig's disease. This would be a test to look for that as well. There, there, is a, there are few conditions in which we will not do an EMG, such as a bleeding disorder or if you have a special type of pacemaker then we cannot do the EMG. Otherwise, the test is very safe and does not have any long-lasting complications. Uh, it does not cause any pain. Once you're done with the test, uh, there's no further discomfort.